Good evening. Hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? How was your long weekend? Very tired. Really? <laughs> yeah. Tired? Did you work a lot? Yes. But the work no rest. You couldn't rest. Oh, I'm sorry for that. Well, maybe during the week you can have a day off. Well, guys, welcome to the class. I'm glad to see you. Uh, we still have a lot of people missing. They are not connected, but it's time to start. Uh, today is our class number 11. And in a moment, you will see the class presentation. Today, we are going to learn an important topic, which is giving a message using tell and ask. The verbs tell and ask to give a message to another person. So that's what we're going to learn in this class, OK? Uh, some of you already did these exercises in the platform, right, for this section. So you already have an idea of what we are going to do. Good. So these verbs, tell and ask, will be introduced in a conversation between two people talking on the phone. And at the end of the session, you will be able to take and give a message using tell and ask. Mm -hmm. But first, in the activity one, we are going to recall the previous class, the previous topic. Do you remember what the previous topic was? What was the previous topic, guys? Actually, you had homework. <laughs> I guess. Oh, Milano, we can't understand. Yes, it was um, how I accept or refuse an invitation. Yes, we learn expressions to accept or decline or refuse an invitation. And the grammar point was the making plans for making future plans with present progressive and and present progressive and going to exactly and be going to okay I know it's Monday it's Monday and you come from a long weekend but <laughs> we need to refresh the, the brain the memory Good, then in the activity two, we have ask and tell, giving a message, then practice and wrap up. So look at these pictures and tell me, what are these people doing next Friday? We have Andrew, Richard, Rachel, Karen, Tom, and Zoo. Okay, five, five pictures and you have to complete here. So take a moment to look at the pictures and tell me, what are these people doing next Friday? Tell me what these people are doing next Friday. We have the example, Andrew is playing tennis on Friday. That's what he has in his agenda for Friday. Now, now what about Charlie? The book. Uh, excuse me, can you repeat? Richard is reading the book. <laughs> oh, good evening, teacher. Good evening. You have to look it, at the it, agenda. Uh-huh. Look at the agenda and what is the plan they already have for the day. It says Friday. 
and it says cinema. So Richard is going to go to the cinema. Is going to the cinema. Okay, Richard is going. Is going to ah oh, okay so it's going because two is already there. Richard is going. Is going to the cinema. What about Rachel? Look at the picture. You have to. <laughs> Maybe zoom in or make it bigger to see what is her plan for Friday. Can you see it? Rachel is? Uh-huh. It says there, Friday, Saturday, Friday, 9.30, meet Dave. So, Rachel? We have to use the present continuous because it says, what are these people doing next Friday? Oh, let's see what they are doing. Andrew is playing tennis on Friday. Richard is going to the cinema. Rachel? is going. Check, check your schedule. The activity is here in the, in the agenda. Rachel is having me, having a meet with Dave. Okay. The Rachel is going is going going to having a uh, meet uh, next Friday Friday Friday. Okay. It's very easy, guys. Yeah. It's just the verb that is there. You have to make it in the present progressive. Rachel is meeting Dave. The verb is meet. In the ING for meeting, Rachel is meeting Dave at 9.30 on, on Friday. What about Karen? Okay, we have to complete here because it's, it, it says lunch with Ken. So Karen is? Is going to have lunch. Having, 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 having a lunch with, with Ken. Ken. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And number five, we have two people here. What are their names? Ron and Sue. Tom and Sue. Okay, Tom and Sue. And because it's plural, two people, what is the, the form of the verb to be? Are. Exactly. Are. So Tom and Sue are going uh, okay. to party. This, in this case, oh, okay. Tom and Sue are going to party okay. on Friday. Tom and Sue are going to a party on Friday. Very good. So this is just a review of the previous class. We can use the present continuous for the future. 
for making plans for the future. Richard is going to the cinema. Rachel is meeting Dave at 9.30 on Friday. Karen is having lunch. And Tom and Sue are going to a party on Friday. What are you doing tomorrow? If I ask the question, what are you doing tomorrow? What can you tell me? What are your plans for tomorrow? What are I'm you going doing? to prepare? <laughs> I want, uh, I'm preparing to my child <laughs> for the school. Okay, Anna is preparing her child for school tomorrow. Somebody else? What are you doing tomorrow? I'm going to the supermarket. Okay, I'm going in the morning. I'm going to the supermarket in the morning. Huh? Okay, somebody else? Oh, Julio says I'm going to practice. Julio says I'm going to the stadium with my friends, really? And uh what are you going to see in the stadium? Are you going to watch a soccer game or are you going to play? Ah, Julia says, I'm going to, you're going to play soccer. You're playing soccer tomorrow. Okay. Okay, we can say Julio. Julio is playing soccer at the stadium with his friends tomorrow. Julio is playing soccer with his friends tomorrow. Okay. Nice. Let's go over the next the next exercise. In this case, we are going to write questions using the present progressive. For example, we have the subject, the verb, the complement, the time expression. You go out tonight. Are you going out tonight? Number two, you work next week. What is the question? Are you working next week? Next week, sorry. Exactly, are you working next week? Good. Now, what about number three? What do you do tomorrow evening? What? Do you? What are you doing? What are? Don't forget the verb to be. Oh, I'm sorry. Don't what worry. Do you what are you doing, are you doing? Are you doing? Uh, tomorrow evening? What are you doing tomorrow evening? And number four. What is what is the time? What is the time? What time? The, the what question time? one is what time? What time? The bird to be? R R. What time are your friends coming? What time are your friends coming? Exactly. What time are your friends coming? And number five. When? When is Liz? When is, right? When is? Very good. Liz. Liz. Going. Going on holiday. Very good. 
Oh, Jose, the new father says, tomorrow I am going to East to affiliate my son. <laughs> okay, Alejandro. Yes, don't forget to use the verb to be. I'm going to the East offices. Uh, Lorena, I'm going to the hospital to bring medicine. Oh, to get some medicine. Okay. Okay. Now, write sentences about yourself. What are you doing the next few days? We have two examples. I'm staying at home tonight. I'm going to the theater on Monday. Okay. We, this is the beginning of the week. So can you tell me what are your plans? What are you doing this week? You can write in the chat. In the chat, you can write what you are doing this week. Okay. For example, on Thursday, on Thursday, um, I'm going to the doctor with my mother. So she's going to the doctor and I'm going to go with her. Um, let's see. Oh, we have one here. I'm making hamburgers the rest of the week. Really, really why? I can see you're a burger lover. <laughs> hamburgers all the week. <laughs> Okay, I'm going, I'm resting tomorrow in the afternoon. I really need a rest. <laughs> Indeed, tomorrow I'm cooking lunch for my husband. Mare Jose, um, I am, to, I'm going to the doctor on Friday at noon. At noon. Okay, while well, you are Typing your examples, I will take the attendance. Okay, so. So please be ready to say present teacher, I am here. Please take my attendance. Guys, this is the class 11. It means that we're just missing five more classes. Five more and we finish. Okay, today is Monday, July 10th. Uh, what about Aleida Samira Guadalupe? Okay, yeah. hey, she's here. Ana Beatriz? Ana. Ana no escucha. <laughs> Yeah, but we know she's here. <laughs> Andrea Estera Costa, I think she's having problems with the microphone. Andrea Estera Costa? Here, Miss. Okay, thank you, Andrea. Brandon Gomez? Here, Miss. Teacher, I'm here because I, 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 didn't, I didn't listen to you because... <laughs> you didn't uh, listen to me. Okay, I don't the, worry. My, my, my phone, my speaker phone. Uh, oh. is, no, just no, no, it's sirve, no, sé cómo decir. It's not hmm? no, no, work. It's not no, working. Work. Yeah. It's not working in the present. <laughs> okay, Brandon is thank you. present. Caleb, present Ariel. teacher. Thank you, Brandon. Caleb, Ariel. Absent. Efraín, Emilio. In the chat, he says present. <laughs> Geraldine Villeda. Present teacher. Thank you, Geraldine. Um, what about Evel Virginia? Present Miss. Thank you. Ingrid Maricela Flores. Here, Miss. Great. Irma Adriana Segura. 
Present. Thank you, Irma. Jacqueline Garcia Sanchez. Present. Thank you, Jacqueline. Jose Alejandro Vaquerano Sanchez, the happy father. Okay. Okay, Jose. Juan David, Madrid. Present teacher. Thank you. Juan Jose Garcia Mendez. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, Juan. Um, Julio Cesar Alfaro. Julio Cesar Alfaro. Absent. Kevin Josias Flores. Kevin Josias. Lorena de Los Ángeles. Present teacher. Thank you, Lorena. Luis Ernesto Cibrián. Present teacher. Oh, Julio. Julio Alfaro says present. Okay, Julio. Um, Luis Ernesto, present. María José Navarro. Present teacher. Thank you. Daniela Carranza. Present teacher. Thank you, Daniela. Milagro Jiménez. What happened to Milagro? She was here. Estaba conectada, teacher. Yeah, he was. She was here. <laughs> Maybe she had a, a failure with the internet. Mirna Landos. Present teacher. And I think Caleb has just connected. Caleb Ariel. Hello, present. Uh -huh. Yeah, I already changed because I put absent, but now it's present. Mirna Landos, absent. Nelson Seron. Oh, sorry, Mirna is present. <laughs> Nelson Seron. Yes, teacher. Nelson. Okay, it's absent. Patricia Esmeralda. Present, teacher. Okay, Patricia. Sandra Asensio. Present, Miss. Okay. Eh, Milagro, ya le puse su asistencia. Thank you, Miss. Sandra Corea. Sandra Corea. Sandra. En el chat, teacher. Oh, thanks. Sandra Rivas. Present. Thank you. Sandra Mosa. Present, teacher. Sandra Rivas, ya dijo preparada. Sandra Mosa. Stephanie Vigayu Quintanilla. Stephanie. Eh, Valeria del Carmen. Present, Miss. Thank you, Valeria. Okay, let's check your sentences. Your what you are doing this week. Remember to use the present continuous for the future. And I'm traveling to a Cajutla Beach. Wow, nice. On Sunday, I'm going to the church because I work there too. Okay. I'm going to subscribe in the university. Okay, Ana Beatriz, I'm going or I'm enrolling. I'm enrolling in the university. That is the, the verb we use. Okay, we have another one. I'm going to travel tomorrow or I'm traveling tomorrow. I'm working tomorrow. I'm going to the cinema. Wow, Geraldine, what movie are you are, are you watching tomorrow? Uh, Transformers. Nice, nice. Anna says I'm working out at the gym. 
I'm visiting my family on the weekend. Okay, Ernesto, it's, it's correct. I'm going to visit my family on the weekend. It's correct. But you can also say, I'm visiting my family on the weekend to use the present continuous. Uh, it says present teacher. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm going to the Tunka Beach with my family. I'm going to the supermarket tomorrow. And um, yes, I will. Okay, Lorena. And using, using the present continuous, Lorena, ¿cómo sería? I will go to a camp on Saturday. But using the present continuous, the verb to be and the verb in the ing form. Okay, Nelson, in this moment I'm going to change and I will take your attendance. Nelson. Okay, let's see. Aha, Lorena, ¿cómo sería? I am I'm so I'm going I am going to a camp. Okay, I am going to a camp on Saturday. Or I'm camping on Saturday. Uh, Vanessa, I'm, I'm going to visit my mom on the weekend. It's correct, Vanessa, but you can also say I'm visiting. I am visiting my mom on the weekend. I'm going to the beach this weekend. I'm going to the supermarket at night tomorrow. But we have class, Sandra. You're going to the supermarket at night, so we have class. Maybe after, after the class. After the class. Okay. <laughs> Very good. Okay, thank you for sharing your plans. Now we have more questions using going to. In this case, it's going to. And the questions are, what are you going to do after class? What time are you going to go to bed tonight? What time are you going to get up tomorrow morning? What are you going to do tomorrow morning? What are you going to do tomorrow afternoon? What are you going to do tomorrow night? What are you going to watch on TV tonight? So I will send you to the groups and you will ask and answer these questions with your groups, okay? For example, imagine I am with Daniela in the group. I will ask Daniela, Daniela, what are you going to do after class? Daniela? Carranza, what are you going to do after class? <laughs> or maybe another person. Let's see. Brandon Steven. Brandon, what are you going to do after class? Luis Ibrian? Hi, teacher. Excuse me. What are you going to do after class? Um, <laughs> are you sleep? Are you sleeping? Okay. I am going, going to sleep. I am going to sleep. Or I'm going to go to bed. Okay, thank you, Luis. Yes. Well, after thank your you, class, I'm going to I'm going to teach another class. <laughs> but after that class, I'm going to go to bed immediately. <laughs> Alejandro says after class I'm going to wash my dirty clothes. Oh, poor Alejandro. <laughs> Daniela says that she's going to finish her homework from college. Okay, so that's what you're going to practice with your classmates in, in the groups, okay? It's going to be a speaking time. Teacher. Teacher. Yeah? Uh, when you add the uh, plus verb, uh, it's, uh, it's always present continue. Now, these questions that you are going to practice is using going to. What are Where's you going continue? to? You're just going to. 
Okay, in the previous exercise, we can use present continuous because we can use the present continuous for the future. But right now, I need you to practice the use of going to, verb to be, going to, and infinitive form of the verb. What are you going to do after class? I am going to wash the dishes. I am going to have another class. I am going to finish my homework. Um, I am going to eat my dinner. I am going to walk out my dog, etc. Okay? Does that answer your question, Anna? Yes, teacher. Okay. Thank you. I will send you the 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 questions in a moment in the WhatsApp group and here. to after class. I'm going to have dinner. Okay. Um, I am going to watch uh, La Casa de los Famosos. What do you think of the Moscatops? What time are you going to go to get Tonight, I am going to sleep at ten. Okay, sleep. Okay. Um, what time are you going to get out tomorrow morning? Morning. I'm, are you going to go to bed tonight? I'm going to the bed at midnight, maybe. Midnight. Yeah, <laughs> midnight. Do I? I don't know. No. Básicamente siempre me duermo a esa hora. I have problem to sleeping. Ah, okay. Eh, este, what time are you going to get get up tomorrow morning? I I get up um at seven seven possible seven a.m. Okay, uh, Mary, Daniela, what are you going to do tomorrow morning? Sorry, can you repeat that? Okay, um, what are you going to do, to do tomorrow morning? Oh, 
I'm going to uh I'm going to college tomorrow morning. Oh wow. Uh, <laughs> what is your your grade in your in your school? My my profession? Do you mean that? Wow. Or my my grade. Yes. Oh, my, it's my fifth year. Your fifth year in the university. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. My last year. Your last wow. year. And what is your career? It's graphic design. Wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Logo, logo siempre es logo en inglés, ¿no? Logo. Yeah, logo. You can say yeah. logo. On okay. Permítame un tantito, permítame. Okay, um, what are you going to do tomorrow night? Me, tomorrow I'm going to visit my parents. Me, I go tomorrow my mom to visit my Me, I stay in my home. <laughs> what are you going to watch on TV, on TV tonight? Okay. Huh? What, are, what are you going to do uh, tomorrow morning? I, I can't listen. I can't. Okay. I can't listen. What are you going to do tomorrow morning? Uh, I I'm going to to eat because I'm going to affiliate to my son. Okay. What are you going to uh going to do tomorrow night? Tomorrow, tomorrow night. Uh, mm, I, I don't know. I am Maybe sleeping. I, I am sleeping. Uh, <laughs> you are going to have I, 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 like, I like to cooking. I like to cooking. <laughs> I like to cooking. And, and I, I think that, that I can. I, I, I'm going to, to cook pupusas tomorrow. To homework. <laughs> nice. <laughs> you're going to make yeah. pupusas. Nice. Yeah, I can, I can make it. I I can really make it <laughs> like a like a pupusera. <laughs> nice for no cooking. I, mean, I can see you love cooking. Ah, I I, I like cooking. <laughs> my husband, my husband learned to make pupusas too. Ah, you can make it more or less, yeah. more or less. <laughs> I know. <laughs> okay, very good. Continue uh, practicing. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Hey, Alejandro, where are you going to watch on TV tonight? How long? One, one half hour. Ah, uh, well, uh, one hour and a half. That's that's a lot of time. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's that's a just moment. Right. I, I um, uh, no sé cómo se consentir uh, to myself. Okay. Ah, okay. Pamper yourself. It's long, it's long, and it's not over. <laughs> mm. Nice. I need to have uh, that conviction. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Okay, I I'm going to ask another question. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, 
what are you going to to watch on TV tonight? Mm, I am going to watch um uh El Chapo tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Movies. Eh, documental, ¿cómo se dice documental? Documentary. Documentary. Eh, entonces sería, I am going to the watch uh, the new uh, documentary uh, movies. I'm going oh, to watch okay. a documentary movie, okay? Uh, repeat, please, teacher. I'm going to, to watch. I'm going to watch, I'm going to watch a documentary watch movie. At, at documentary. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. In the finish. And you're finished. Okay, and I think everybody yes. should be finished right now. <laughs> okay. Okay, I think everybody's stuck. Um, how was the practice? How did you feel speaking with your classmates? Well, I, I was... Uh, yes? No sé cómo decir, no contestaban. <laughs> Soy solo una persona. Okay. How can you say that in English? In the past, they? They? Had the negative? The past in negative? Uh, what, is, what is the auxiliary in the negative form? In the present is do. In the past is? They didn't. Did exactly negative. Somebody said didn't. <laughs> okay, so and then the verb in the base form. They didn't answer. They didn't answer. But I was listening to other groups and they were having a good conversation, very natural. And that's great because you are speaking already. You're speaking English with your classmates in a natural way. And I'm happy to hear you when you speak like that. Well, now guys, I'm going to share here a conversation. Oh, but I need to do something before. In this conversation, we'll combine many things. You will see that it's not only plans for the future, but also um that is a, um how to how to give a message this person sends a message right but not a message on the cell phone <laughs> well actually on a on a call on a phone call let's see we are going to listen to it page 102 exercise 7 conversation can i take a message Part A. Listen and practice. Hello? Hi, Caitlin. It's Jake. Are you busy? No, I'm having coffee with Brittany. Where are you? Class is going to start soon. That's the problem. I don't think I'm going to make it tonight. Why not? What's the matter? My bus is stuck in traffic. Nobody is moving. Oh, no. What are you going to do? I don't know. 
Could you tell Mr. Eaton that I'm gonna miss class? No problem. I'll give him the message. Oh, and could you ask Brittany to take pictures of the whiteboard for me? Sure, but I can take the pictures. Um, thanks. But the last time you took a picture of the board, all I could see was the wall. <laughs> okay, so you could you can listen to other people besides the teachers speaking English. <laughs> so what happens in the conversation? What is Jake's problem? He has a he, he having problem when he going to to his work. Mm, are you sure uh, about the traffic? Okay, he is in the traffic. He's stuck in traffic. No, but he, where is he going? To class. Work. Exactly to class. Maybe the university, right? He's going to. Or the English class. Or English this class. class. Right. So as you can see, it says, Hi, Katie, it's Jake. Are you busy? No, I'm having coffee with Brittany. What are you? Class is going to start soon. It's using, it's using the, the going to. Class is going to start soon. And uh, that's the problem. I don't think I am going to make it. I'm going to make it tonight. I'm going to make it. It's an expression, right? Like um, he, he thinks that he's not going to get on time for the class, right? When you say, I can't make it, it's no, no puedo, no llego, right? I, I'm not going to make it. So he says, I don't think I'm going to make it tonight. Why not? What's the matter? What's the problem? My boss? Is the stock in traffic very um, common in El Salvador too? Right now, nobody's moving. Oh no, what are you going to do? I don't know. Could you tell? And this is the expression that we're going to study in a moment. Could you tell Mr. Eaton that I'm going to miss class? So, what is the message? He is not going to be on class on time. Exactly. He's not going to be in the class. He's going to miss class. As he said, he said, perder la clase. Miss class. You miss the class. Teacher, I miss the class. Why? Because um, my wife was having a baby. <laughs> like Alejandro, right? That's okay. So no problem, I'll give him the message. And could you ask? Now in the first one we use tell, could you tell Mr. Eaton that I'm going to miss that? But in the second one, maybe I'm gonna make it bigger so you can see. Yeah, now it's better. So could you tell that I'm going, could you tell Mr. Eaton I'm going to miss that? But in the other one, he says, could you ask Brittany to take pictures of the wiper for me? So the first one is just passing the message to tell him that I'm going to miss the class. But in the second, it's like a request. Could you ask Brittany, like asking for a favor, could you ask Brittany to take pictures? So in the first one, could you tell me the reason that I am going to miss that? This is the message. And in the, the second first, the first statement this year. And the second is a, a, a statement in another place. It's a request. The last class that we have. A request. Could you ask? A request. Uh -huh. Could you ask Brittany to, and we use? To take, could you ask Brittany to take pictures of the Bible for me? Okay, so we're going to study this right now. How to use tell and ask when given a message. Cindy.
Okay, we use tail. This is this, the formula or the structure. Tail plus the object pronoun or a name. Tell Maria, tell Pedro, or tell her, tell him, or tell them. Okay? You can use tell plus the name of the person or people or an object pronoun. Her, him, them. Teacher. And then we use uh, that. Teacher, I want a question. What's your uh, question, Anna? Uh, when I made the made the sentences in the platform, I, I, I performance performance. Uh, I I can uh, I I can see in, in one sentences that are the structure era uh, it was uh, uh, the same, element, but the the word that another uh, um uh, I, I was uh, another sentences i can see that the uh, the in sentences it just the pronoun pronoun is excuse me and plus uh two infinity and i have some uh built i don't know what how can I say it? Okay, okay, Anna. I'm going to explain first, and maybe later we can check the platform together to see the exercise. Okay, so here you can see the messages with a statement tail. I'm going to this class tonight. This is the message. Please tell him that that is optional. You can use it or not. You can omit it. Tell him I'm going to miss class or tell him that I am going to miss class. Could you tell him that I'm going to miss class? Would you tell him that I'm going to miss class? And uh, we go from informal to formal. If you just say, tell him, it's informal. If you ask, could you tell him that I'm going to miss class? It's a little bit more formal. And very formal is, would you tell him that I'm going to miss class? Now, this is for the statements. And for requests, could, you, could she take a picture of the board to give a message with a request? Ask, we have asked the object pronoun or the name of the person plus two and the verb, the infinity form, two plus the verb. Ask her to take a picture of the board. Could you ask her to take a picture of the board? Would you ask her to take a picture of the board? So these are the different forms. And that is the difference between tell and ask. Remember, ask is for a request. Es para pedir, para pedir algo. Okay? And the tell is just to say something to someone. Um, Anna was asking about uh, some exercises in the platform, but maybe we can do these ones together. Teacher, teacher, excuse me. Teacher, yeah? excuse me. No, it's necessary. No, it's not necessary to put the word that. It's optional. You can use it or not. And the request. You know, it's necessary to put that the, the uh, follow following the, the the structure that the pronoun plus uh, ask and yeah, in with us you need to use two. I ask you to do the exercises in the platform, um, right? So ask you to do the exercises. We have ask plus the pronoun, the object pronoun you to do is the infinitive form. Ask you to do the exercise. Well, let's do these ones. It says unscramble the messages. 
the messages are here. The only thing we have to do is to order the words. Uh -huh. We start with please. Please, you know, what is the idea? What is next? Tell, tell that. Please tell Aru. Please tell Aru. Aru. Uh -huh. That the barbecue. That. Please tell Aru that. And what is the message? Barbecue. What is the message? That the barbecue. The barbecue. The barbecue. On Saturday. Is on Saturday. Saturday. Very nice. Please tell Aru that the barbecue is on Saturday. Okay. Now we have a request because it's a question. We start with. Could. Oh, uh -huh. Could. You. You. Could you yeah. Tell me. Could you. Ah, uh, could you ask Caitlin, Caitlin uh, to okay. call me at four? Very good. Could you ask Caitlin to call me at four? ¿Podrías pedir a Caitlin que me llame a las cuatro? Could you ask Caitlin to call me at four? Okay, number three. Could you? Could you? Could you tell Mia? Mia. Could you tell Mia? Could you tell Mia? That that the dance the dance performance the dance performance it's tonight. Very good. Could you tell me at that? The dance performance is tonight. Okay, number four. Would you? Would you tell you, Kathy? Would you tell Kathy? Would you tell Casey? That the picnic. That the picnic. That the picnic is in the park. Is in the park. Is that in the park. The, 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 would you tell Kay, Kathy that the picnic is in the park? Okay, number five. Would you? Would you ask, ask Micah? Micah? Uh -huh. Would you, right? Would you? I'm sorry, I forgot. Would you ask Micah? To meet me, to meet at the to stadium. Meet me at the stadium, very nice. De vernos, o reunirnos, encontrarnos. And the last one? Please. Please? Please ask Garrett. Ask Garrett to, to bring bring the tickets the to the ticket rock concert. To the rock concert. <laughs> okay, very good. Well, I know this topic could be a little bit complicated or confusing, but we have more practice tomorrow. And if you could do the exercises in the platform, better for you. Okay, class, we need to finish right now. But we'll continue tomorrow, okay? Have a good night. Rest well. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.